Hello there, this is Time Child with Callum and Daniel. Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you a simple computer craft program that I made. I hope you enjoy it. I actually have two to show you, this is my more advanced one. This is my uh, more basic one that I just did. Well, you know, I have some spare time. So, start off with a more basic one since well, you know, it's more basic. So, that's a computer screen. Nothing much. Yes, probably not the best thing to do. Yes, I'll just mess around with this. So, there you've got the menus. So, you can do number one. Enter new pin, oh, I don't know, whatever. F D F G. Fug fug. And then I can register with that pin. F D F G. Entered. Simple. Let's. Okay. G F G. Opens the door. Uh, number three. My master pin will let me in. So if I ever guess that something fish is on the server. And I'd guess, and I could, uh, you know, they could say, oh, let me in, let me in. i just pop along and let them in. So, move back over. So, these computer care programs were all made by me. One, I, this one, I did look at some uh, online stuff, but I didn't copy it. I mean, literally, like, copy and paste it, but, you know, I did adapt it. Which I pretty much just rewrote it. Once I looked at it, I got the general idea, I just rewrote it. So, let's check out this one. This one's different to that one. That one requires user input. This one, nothing. This one, there's no user input. Except, oh god, I've accidentally done something. I shouldn't have done. That's fine. What I can do is I can. So my bag, my bag, my bag, my bag, my bag. My uh, got my discs in it. These are ID discs. They are no different to say that disc. That disc is for my basic. That's not my basic program. That's got my advanced. These are no different except if I get grab a computer and a disk drive. So I put that one there, put my disc in there, when it runs on I can do um, disk edit, oh, uh, there's one folder on here, it's called pass, so if I edit pass, it's all that's on there, it's four numbers, four five eight eight, that's my uh, pin number to get into my door, so if I Get out of there, I can take that one back and I can put this one in. And uh, CD disk, LS, edit, pass. Yeah, that's got another pin number on it. If I grab another disk, that one out, put that one in. And I do CD disk. LS, nothing on it, I can edit pass, make a new one, and I don't know, oh, one, two, three, four, what will do. Ease, four, six, right. So that's the ID cards. They have the pin number stored on them, you know, pin number, simple, stored on there. Now this one is different, I will, for now I will close the program and we can have a look at it. Oh, then. Let me just change that to what I made. Um, so, here is the code. Basically, it's just check to see if there's a file, opens it, tells you what it is, and if it's a certain thing, it will do certain things. A while. So, one thing I want to show, because this is on, uh, oh, what's it called? Uh, Paste bin, that's it. Uh, I want to show you how you can actually customize it. So, as you can see, my local table, I just changed it. If I want to add in another one, I just do that. And put in whatever I want to. And make sure I end it with screen bracket. If I then go down, if it's table one, if it's table two. Right, if you want to get to the end of if 
of the if statement about table two, then come here. So if s pass, which is the first line, if I set that so it equals three, then turn dot clear, turn dot set cursor. So now this is the part which you can change. So I, for now, I'll just do welcome Bob. Print. So you don't have to put the slide name, but I'm doing it. Access granted. Let's make sure that. So oh, why not? Uh, sleep for one and I start set output I capital O put right true and disk dot inject put sleep two OS dot reboot and right. So that now is added in another disk that you can use. So if I run door now, so it's telling me to insert my ID card, but what should we do that is shut down. So that now is running it on my monitor. Would be running it on my monitor if I had started back up. I probably should have reboot that back up. That's running door. So tell me now I can insert my ID card. So I've got one for me. This was intended to go on the server, so I've got one for me, one for the server owner, one for someone called Bob. So if I put in a one for me. So there's welcome Pishball Dan, access granted, and I walk in. Pishball Dan is obviously my uh, username. So yeah, Princey. I put that in, it says welcome Tribella, access granted. That's the owner of the server. It's the server I did a review on a few weeks ago, you know. Amazing server on everyone. I put in this one, this one's got Bob on it. Welcome Bob, access granted. Wow, good for you. Okay. Uh, what did I do wrong then? Somewhere I messed up on my disk dot eject. Where is it? So I'm trying to put it to the three. Oh, uh, that's why. I was meant to put quotes. Oops. My fault. Let's really try it again. Right then, take two. Ah, it did work for a second. So I can put it in. Access granted. Opens the door and lets me out. Or lets me in, rather. And obviously, you know, get your card back in the end. I could have some sort of system where it catches it, so, uh, have like a ticket system, which yeah, I might, I might implement that sometime. So I have a machine buyer that buy, you uh, give you a disc, put in the card, it then, uh, you know, like, I don't know where they are, but I, you know, I could do it. Oh, well, let's me in. So now that you've seen how that works, I will show you what happens if you A, put in a card with the wrong pin, and B, put in a card that doesn't actually have the pin thing on it. So I'm going to actually put the computer on the disc out again. Snow off. I don't like the snow. Just I can put it down. Just down. So this one I'm going to put. Uh, I'm actually going to put the passcode on it, and it's going to be I don't know. Whatever I would do. Do so that. Just back. This just now has a pass on it. So this will say, yep, you've got the pass on it, and it will check to see if it matches one of the, one of the uh, registered pins. Access denied, please insert a valid ID card and throw the back end of me. Symbol, won't do anything, simple out. If I put in that one, actually no, I won't put that one in there. This one now has nothing on it, it's a blank ID card, doesn't even have the pass on it, this is just, you know, someone thinking, oh, you know, I'll sneak in by putting in a blank ID card and crash this program and everything. Nope. Put it in. It checks to see if the folder's on there. Before it was forcing it to 
uh, sorry if the phone was on there. But this time, no. If it is, then it will obviously, uh, you know, let you in, but it's not there, so it's that simple. So, I think that's about all I've got to show you. Um, yeah, I can't think that there's much else I have to show you. So these, uh, you didn't know, so that, that's my, that's my disks, those are my software disks. The link to this program will be in the description. This one, if you really want it, I suppose I'll put it in the description as well, I've still got it somewhere. Um, they're obviously fully customizable, you know, should know how to customize them. Simple. Obviously, you know, technically you could just like smash it all down, but that, that on a server, obviously, you'd have some sort of grief and protection, so it wouldn't happen. So, I hope you've enjoyed my little, um, what's the word, my little showcase of the uh, code, you know. Hopefully, sometime I'll be able to do some more, and maybe I'll start a series on it. I'm not an amazing uh, Lua coder, I mean, I've never, ever, ever done any of Lua before, but I'm not know, I'm not know, you know, I can code a basic door, so. I'm getting somewhere at least. Yeah, I think next thing I'll work on is having a nice little shop by here that will actually retrieve an ID card. Sorry, snow, it's annoying me. That will retrieve an ID card from a chest and will give it to you once you put in, say, a diamond or gold or whatever I set. Put it in, give you out an ID card. That ID card then will have the correct information on it, the correct passes to get in. I know technically if you found out the uh, ID of the, the pin number then I suppose technically you could just make your own disk and put the code in it but you know that's defeats the purpose. So I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you soon. Bye bye.